back here tonight, we got body work happening. So you can see, I got the car all taped off, just masked off, but I don't want to get all dusty. Uh, especially the airbox. Uh, just taped up the interior. Try to keep as much dust out of there as I can. I know it's still going to get in and I got to clean there anyways, but... So we're going to go over the front end a little bit, try to save some stuff just for a spare set. If I can reinforce this, this might be a lost cause, seeing how reinforced and stuff it already is, but I figured I'd do it on the car if I was going to do it that way. It's all still retaining its shape. So see if we can do that. Other than that, we just got some holes to fill. I'm going to replace the whole front clip, I think, but if we can just fill these holes. i uh, got to put a new nose screen on here. Got the rivets out, just got to pull that off. Uh, you can see it's definitely seen its use. This side's pretty good. It's a lot better. But we still got to put cracks up in the fiberglass and stuff, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we're under with the body work. I got this one just ground down. I'll probably just put some fiberglass filler over top of it. And uh, this one. Prep the back side of it and just taped it so it's going to kind of sit flush when I put my patches in the back. Uh, I already put my epoxy on my holes in the front and taped over those guys so the epoxy can't bleed out around it. Uh, hopefully that'll dry somewhat flat. See this one's already kind of running out. But I'll just pack that in there. I just use some light fill over top of it anyways, it's not going to be perfect. These guys, same thing. This one was a bit big. So I might actually use a fiberglass patch on the back side of it if I can. Just try that. Uh, it was a bit of an ambitious hole just for uh, some epoxy to fill. This fender I had absolutely zero hope of saving. Uh, but I'll try it anyways. I'm already doing all the rest of the work. So I've already got fiberglass stuff going. Yeah, I may as well try it. Fiberglass is usually pretty easy to work with. But I mean even so this is schmucked pretty good. Uh, some little stuff and kind of the same thing up here. So I'll let all that stuff dry and see what we got.
Okay, and we finally got our body work done. And it's not perfect, but definitely looks a lot better. Just took care of all those cracks. Resprayed the whole front end. As well, we got our graphics on here. And a new nose screen. That other one was in pretty rough shape. So, up keep our rad clean. This fender actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, not perfect still, but I don't know, for a little bit of time and some fiberglass matting, it looks pretty good. And just did my best to fill the holes. You can still see them up close, but that's nah, going to be good enough. It's still a race car. So we got it back on the ground. Got this side cleaned up. Still waiting on our numbers to come in. We should have those in the next week or two. Kind of redid our little exhaust flange. Got that nice and black instead of rusted. So, looks not too bad. Oh, she's pretty well cleaned up. Just waiting on our numbers now. And it can officially make it the 22 car. Just got some old tires on it so we can roll it around. As well, we're getting back to some of what we usually do. I'm not sure exactly how much motocross we'll do this year, but getting the bike cleaned up and stuff. Uh, we got new chains, sprockets, tires, that kind of thing for it. Just going to go through it front to back like we always do before race season. And give you guys a look at our tire cart. It's got some old tires on there. Uh, it fits up to 10 tires. Really nice, lightweight aluminum. Uh, it's tight squeeze for our trailer, but uh, we're going to make it work. So, you stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have some more interesting videos of it actually being out here in the next month or so. Looking forward to doing some preseason testing with it.